Morning ladies and gents. We've got a bit of sunshine this morning, which is really nice. Makes a change, look at that. So, we're not too deep today. Chances where the deep bit is. A little bit slippy in places. That's the deepest section there, look. So this is the broken bridge. They ought to get it fixed. Oh, little bit of leakage in the old right foot there. We just overtopped, overtopped the boot a touch. It's really nice though to walk through this in the morning. And sometimes it's not too bad that you get a little bit of overtoppage because uh, your feet can get a bit warm. Here comes the wind. Oh, sorry my friend. Have we interrupted you this morning? It would appear we've caught him in the act. Isn't that nice? Well, these two messing about in the water, look. Reggie would drink it all if he called the weirdo. He looks like one of those, is it a lark? No, a lemur. A lemur. A cheeky lemur. Bloody llama. Anyway, let's go and do some work on the control panel, boys and girls because we've just got to walk up this here hill towards where the sun's coming up and that's today's walk done isn't that nice so this is where we left off yesterday so I'm going to wait until RS Components delivers the new current transformer because I'll probably have to do some jiggery pokery in this corner to get it all to fit in there by maybe trimming down some of these bars and hopefully all these wires will run through it nice and neatly and apart from having to take them out and re-terminate them which ain't going to be a huge issue. I could probably also run the power cable through there. Actually, there's no point monitoring the consumption of the mash pump and stuff like that. Because we are using it as a um, diagnostic tool more than anything else. So any variables in there, probably we don't need. So we'll just keep the element energy running through the current transformers and everything else can just be powered off a 13 amp plug i guess that's the best way to do it so the new transformer arrived there she is she's wired up very neat i might add so if we just have a look from the top look at that for a job apart from the cables coming in a little bit rough and ready it would have been nice to have all these three cables come in along the base and then they could have just all slipped through there individually and I suppose on reflection I could have maybe put them across here but I didn't so they don't but there we go so from above it's already looking a heck of a lot neater and more pro than that bad boy so the plan now the plan now is to wire up the outputs of the transformers and they need to ultimately go into these ones here look you can see basically it indicates exactly what it wants you to do and then these can be closed the cable I need to put some trunking in here for the door section I'll probably use a little bit of this flexible conduit but we'll see 
I've also got some spiral wrap which I could use if I needed to not sure yet terminate these earths onto the box everything's nice and neat into you can just about see there into the RCDs and then out the other side of the RCDs as we've said yesterday's vlog into the solid state relays these relays won't get wired up until we install the three phase sockets which are going to come out of the bottom of this section so I'm just waiting on a 12 volt PSU to arrive because they sent I think I mentioned before two 24s by mistake and I need to change this contactor out for some reason I've ordered a 24 volt coil contactor of course there isn't going to be any 24 volt power until we turn the machine on anyway is there because this needs energizing so that was a whoops so that's the next job nip out and get a 240 and then unfortunately didn't want to but we're going to have to push 240 through the key but that's the only biggie really but it really has been quite the day today it's already gone five o'clock and I've spent a lot of time fiddling about with these wires you do forget how much time it takes to set it all up so we're not halfway there yet I'm still waiting on PIDs to arrive I bought them from a seller on eBay who lied essentially they said they'd ship it within a few days and then I get a China international shipping tracking number they're obviously shipping it from Guangdong not a warehouse in London but it is what it is still got to wire up the sensors for the current transformer but we have got the three-phase section installed so that can monitor the um, AC volts and Hertz directly from that RCD there from the output on that RCD we've got the 12 volt power supply in now that's arrived we've got the 24 we've stuck in some uh, junction blocks whatever they call them uh, and I've color coded them black and red for 12 volt black and red for 24 volt but I've written on the side and up there just so we know we're 240 down here this is the 240 buzz bar live and neutral and I've not been to pick up the contactor yet the day as I say has got away with me we've fitted the timer we fitted the uh, PID for the boil and the water meter is energized I've just got a little fly lead here to plug it in so if I just stick that on you'll see we have power on the water meter on that there and on the PID and the alarm is set so we can turn the alarm on and off of this switch and reset it as you're used to seeing this obviously needs its temp probe wiring up and everything else no, we'll turn that off there we go still got to wire the power key up oh look they've got one of the blue LEDs in that one sure that was green it is yeah still got the power switch to wire up when I sort that contactor out and we've still got to solder all of these pins down here I noticed one of the plugs that I got was the wrong one for this section here which means that should I have installed it I would have ended up with this connected to a plug which is a no-no because that's not IP rated you'd easily get your fingers on that so this has to be the non energized end and unfortunately that is what it wants to look like so basically these two are the wrong way round so that is just gonna be I'd imagine just a cable gland and then we'll pull the power in that way just unplug this though for while I'm doing this so that's it just a short one today because uh, I've just been wiring stuff in 
and you know even if I set up a camera and I time lapsed it it would still be an extremely long time lapse and unfortunately it'd be that quick you wouldn't be able to see the detail on what I'm doing anyway so probably not worth it is it really of course if you've got any questions fire them in the comments box below but I do like this trunking it really tidies up the cables and makes everything look nice and neat pull them off you can see the cables are under there same on this side I've just covered them up so we've got all the power cables under there cables under there I've added some more there and this little bit of trunk in there will cover up any bits and bobs that are exposed but I'm really pleased how it's coming together another day on this tomorrow should see me get 95% of it done we'll just be waiting on PIDs I think and if I have to I'll just bodge it temporarily with some fly leads just to run it off the old PIDs until the new ones arrive I did also spend a bit of time doing some admin till about half past 11 today as well so that's really eaten into the amount of work I'd get done on the control panel so there we are another update uh, hopefully we'll be mounting this on the wall next week so we can carry on or crack on with another project and if you're still watching the video ladies and gentlemen the other vid the other project <laughs> another video the other project is going to include two of these yes you heard right two so we're going to have 40 tons going into something or t'other so you're going to have to make sure you're subscribed and you've got your notifications turned on otherwise you're not going to be informed when this new project starts we'll see you on the next video boys and girls oh thank you very much